Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with um, some new items from Born Pretty Store and I've got three um, stamping plates and it just came in a small envelope. It is a padded envelope but it's not extremely padded, like it doesn't feel very padded. They were just put loose in the packaging but they weren't bent or damaged or anything like that. Um, and um, as most plates do, I'm pretty sure all of them nowadays do, they have the protective film over top of them. So um, I've got three and I believe these are from their new collection. They just released one and then they're releasing another one. I'm not sure which set these, which which collection these two, these three are from, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the ones that I got. I got Born Pretty, um, which is BP16, and these are the images. I mainly wanted it because I love the animal print image here, and then this scenic, this, you know, the animals. I mean, I like the entire plate, but the um, ones that I like the most is this, strip here and then this one here but you see there's like a wolf howling on the mountain um i think those are giraffes and palm trees a bunny rabbit zebra some birds a zebra and then an elephant and again that's bp16 and then i have bp21 this one is very much like the um Queen buffet set that they released um, because it's broken to like four quadrants and then there's different images in each quadrant and which I absolutely love because you can easily um, combine two different looks together. Um, this one is just kind of like some kind of wavy lines which I believe there's an image similar to this on Dashika plates and then this one here which is a bunch of straight lines going in different directions which is really nice you can easily like do a combination this way or you can turn it and do half and half and the same thing with the rest of the parts this is just like kind of like i don't know filigree or you know kind of swirly patterns and then a combination of some different circles so um again this is bp21 so i really like this plate and if you have longer nails, if you angle it this way, you can get more of your nail covered or angle it that way. You can get pretty much the majority of your nail covered depending upon how long they are. But again, your best bet with these would be to mix and match two of the patterns to get um, it to cover the entire length of the nail. Or you can even, if you can center it in the middle, you can get pieces of all four um, images you know just doing different things and then the last one that I got is number 25 and this one was kind of like the wedding theme plate which I wish I had this one before I left because I would have definitely used this image plate because it is just absolutely I really really like it it's called it's number 25 and the main image here is the bride holding an umbrella but I love the, the bottom of her dress. It's absolutely gorgeous, very appropriate, but similar to the type of design that I use. And then there is, I don't even know, is that an eye? Looks like an eye with different lashes on top and bottom. And then, um, I guess that's an eye. I'm not really sure. But then there's a, a rose. Of course, the umbrella, some a rose, stem of roses, and then, and the big part here is in the shape of an umbrella. Like this represents like this, you know, the stick part that you hold. And then there's three individual sections here, more of that kind of filigree scroll work. And then this is kind of like a star kind of pattern with diamond cut stars or something like that. And this is just kind of cross work or hatching kind of like weave pattern here. So this would be really nice to use and again another one where you can combine different images together this one um, you could do actually one entire nail that way um, given if you have 
kind of shorter nails but if you do it this way you can get some of at least two of the images depending upon the length of your nail or I mean the possibilities are really endless with these because you can hold your fingers at a diagonal or you can separate it right on the lines that separate the images so um yeah that is the actual plates and i will be doing a um like a demo testing of the plates and then probably doing a manicure with one of the plates so that's it well actually it's not it because the demo part will be attached next so thanks for watching bye Okay, so today I'm gonna be, I'm doing the um, stamping of the three um, Born Pretty Store stamping plates that I received. The ones that I got are BP21, and this is what it looks like. They are com pretty much comprised like the um, Queen Buffet plates. They're basically broken into quadrants here so you get four different images that are pretty large so if you have longer nails these will actually work for you pretty well this is BP 25 so and this one is slightly different this has three different pieces up here at the top in this umbrella shape and then you have some one two three four individual images or five and then this one here that's the kind of wedding the bride here which is actually I love the bottom of the dress and then the last one here is BP-16. I left the um, plastic protective coating on here so you can see it being removed. So as you can see, just kind of pull it back with the tip of your nail, grab it, and it comes right off pretty easily. I would suggest also cleaning this with acetone before using it just because um, there may be some leftover um, adhesive residue on here and one thing that I did notice um, is that some of their some of the images are a little roughly etched so it is catching some of the hairs when I went go to clean it off so what you want to do if you do get to see any hairs is just take your finger and kind of wipe over that area to remove any fuzzies off of it because it can cause you know ball spots in your design so I'm just going to be stamping on paper just because um, I am going to be doing a nail design and I'm not quite sure and I want to use as you know I'm just gonna do it on paper so um, but there will be actual nail designs coming up with these plates soon so I'm gonna just start in order and this is BP number 16 and the main reason I wanted this image is because of the animal print so I am going to be using different stampers and different scrapers and different polishes so I'm going to use regular polish as well as stamping polish um, and different brands of stamping polish which I just have Bundle Monster, Conat and where is hmm oh and a um, Mundo de Unas polish so um, these are the stampers that I'm going to try just to see that each of them you know if it works because sometimes some stampers don't work very well and sometimes all of them work so just in case depending upon what stamper you have um, I would like to be able to give you an idea so okay so I've cleaned off all of the plates already um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started picking a color so I'm gonna use the Mundo de Unis polish first probably use a little bit more than I need it to. I'm going to start with the one that I like first. This one, I can't remember where this one was from. So this is how it picks up. Picks up really, really nicely. Transfers perfectly. So let me do another color. This one is just the Conad Brown. I'm just going to go for this area here. Move this over. I'm going to try my Store Envy one. 
and that also picks up really nicely stamps perfectly you get all the detail which is actually really nice and then we clean this off here so I'm going to go for the zebra head and I'm just going to use bundle monster orange here actually I'm going to try and pick up both of these images here and we'll see how that works I'm going to go with the, the Sheikah one, and that's how it picks up. I missed, it didn't get the fine line. Otherwise, it transferred actually really nicely. It just did not pick up the fine line of the circle at the top. And then next. So this one is Sinful Shine and Wisp. This is a regular white nail polish. I'm going to do this image in the middle, which is a wolf howling at the moon. And I'm going to do this one at an angle because it has a pretty wide surface area. And I'm using my Conad Stamper. Picks up really nicely. Transfers really nicely. No gaps, no bald spots, which is actually really, really great. And then I'm gonna try for try to get a couple pieces down here in the bottom. And let me try the bundle monster, the hot pink one. This is one oh got a bit much that I have had trouble using with finer images. So let's see, I'm gonna use my um so you can't really see that as well, but it picks up pretty nicely. You, I miss a piece of the fine line of the trunk of the elephant's nose, but the zebra transferred really well, um, as well as the rest of the images there. So that actually pretty nicely. So that was number 16. Next is number... Um, 21 and this one will be a little bit easier because it's just like four images like four spaces so I'm gonna try Conad white and I'm just gonna do this piece here with the kind of swirly like wavy lines And that, you can't really see that well, but now that didn't transfer as well. And it could have been because I paused to show you and some of them with fine lines, you really have to move pretty quickly. So I'm gonna try that again. And this is also one of the images that I have found that um, kind of is a little bit roughly etched and leaves like it pulls on the hairs leaves hairs behind so let me just make sure I wipe all that off so I'm gonna try the white again and I'm not gonna show you the image I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it so now that stamps actually really well no lines were missing or anything like that So next I'm going to try a regular nail polish. This is the, um, oh God, what is this? Del Sol polish, the color changing one. And this you probably really won't, you can see a little bit. Can't see it that well in here, so I'm going to try a darker, I mean it does stamp pretty looks like it stamps pretty completely but just so you can see it on the paper I'm going to stamp it again in a different color let's try this orange let's try this pink since that one is one that generally gives me issues with lines fine lines and this one will show up really nicely and I found that sometimes um, 
pressing straight down. Okay, that one does really great. So let me move on to the other areas up here. So that picks up really nicely. Transfers with no problem. to the paper and sticking so I'm gonna re-scrape that one and again this one is kind of picking sticking the hairs That one picks up really nicely and really clear. Perfect. So that is plate number 21. And last but not least is plate number 25. And what I think I'm going to do is just go down vertically and use the, um, see as much, see how much I can get. And I'm going to try the Mundo de Unas. Is this one you can generally, because it is thicker, you can generally, um, do multiple like stampings without reapplying because it is much thicker so I'm gonna go right in here that picks up really nice and crisp and it applies perfectly let's see if I can pick up the bottom the bottom picked up pretty nicely and it applied pretty great. I didn't have to restamp to get this third area of the um, um, of the image. So I'm gonna try some of the. I definitely want to do this wedding dress here with the bride. So I'm gonna get that one, and I'm gonna use the brown. Oh. picks up really nicely transfers pretty perfectly a little bit of a ball spot in like the breast area there but for the most part everything else picked up great nice crisp lines and that ball spot could have been because I have a little something on the stamper okay so I'm gonna just do some of the other images I'm gonna try and get the umbrella and the flower all in one. So I'm gonna just do it this way. And that is what it looks like, and I did scrape over it multiple times, so I'm missing. There is a ball spot in my spreading, so that's why it didn't pick up the little piece in the middle, not due to the actual image or the polish. It, everything picked up great, but I didn't spread the colors all the way around. So last are this rose, and I think that's an eyeball. I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. Let me clean. And you let me know what you think that is at the bottom. I think it's an eye. So that is what that looks like. Nice and bold. Stamps really, really great. All the detail and what I assume is an eyeball is there. Nothing is missing at all. So I'm very, very pleased, again, with the quality of these stamps. So let me be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna just do some of the other images. I'm gonna try and get the umbrella and the flower all in one. So I'm gonna just do it this way. And that 
is what it looks like and I did scrape over it multiple times so I'm missing there is a ball spot in my spreading so that's why it didn't pick up the little piece in the middle not due to the actual image or the polish it, everything picked up great but I didn't spread the colors all the way around so last are this rose and I think that's an eyeball I'm not quite sure but we'll see let me clean. And you let me know what you think that is at the bottom I think it's an eye so that is what that looks like nice and bold stamps really really great all the detail and what I assume is an eyeball is there nothing is missing at all so I'm very very pleased again with the quality of these stamps so let me be right back okay so I've finished the stamping of the images so I'm just going to show you my paper really quick so you can see that each of the images transfer really really great very very pleased with how everything turned out so um, again very very pleased um, didn't have any problems with any of the colors the only image that didn't transfer all of the way was off of plate 16 and it is the one with the fine line and that could have just been because um, it was using the bundle monster polish that one I have had issues before mainly with the pink um, not transferring or picking up fine lines so let me try with a different one really really quickly and see if that if it's just the bundle monster polish yeah seems like it's the bundle monster um, and not so that is what it looks like with the full circle and there is the bundle monster this is with Conet chocolate brown so um, again I have had multiple issues just with the um, Bondo Monster stamping polish with fine lines, mainly with the pink, but the plate is actually pretty amazing. Um, they're very ch cheaply priced. I will put the links to each of the plates down below. I also have a discount code which should be running along the bottom of this entire video at least the intro but it is lor w10 10 percent off um regular price items site-wide um there is no expiration date on the coupon code so um very very pleased again bp16 the only thing i will say that um not necessarily pleased about is the placement of their the plate number like this one is right in the middle so if you're using a larger stamper you could possibly pick up and depending upon what polish you're using um, trying to scrape that off and so it doesn't go on to transfer into your nail could be an issue this one even more so than um, the previous plate because it's like right here in between very small images that are really tightly um, you know packed on this the plate so that one definitely don't like that positioning this one's not too bad I wish they were all just at the bottom of the plate here um, but what can you do just kind of be careful and hopefully you can kind of move quick about scraping that part off or cleaning it off before applying it to your nail or you just have to be very very precise in your scraping so that the excess polish does not get onto the um, plate number on the other two plates where it's kind of inconveniently placed in within amongst all the images so very very pleased with the quality again they have a backing that says born pretty store and again the is born pretty store.com um, the plates are pretty good quality they don't they're not easily bendable um, they come with a protective covering they have a variety of image placements where um, you have the four quadrants especially good if you have longer nails you have this one which is slightly different where you have one that's got a tri-image three-piece image here and then individual smaller images there 
and then this one which is kind of like a lot of other plates where you have a mixture of full nail um, plus single images and then this kind of scenic one at the bottom so this one gives you a good variety of different animal type of images so the collection has like it it's very kind of eclectic in terms of the positioning of the images and the type of images that are available they're really nice um, there are several that I do want to get myself so um, so yeah if you're looking for it to get into stamping and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're not sure if you're gonna like it born pretty store is a great way to go because the, I mean the plates range in price um, they vary between, I've seen some that were, oh crap, I missed the sale. They had a, a sale going on the past couple days. Well, I know one of them doesn't end until, oh, it ends today. So and I'm, so if you go to bornprettystore.com, actually by the time you see this, it will be past the 10th, so I'm sorry. But um, I've seen them range from like 99 cents up to like three or four dollars but I'm not going to quote the exact price because the prices may may change at any given time so I will put the direct link to Born Pretty Store as well as the direct links to each of the individual plates so let me know if you've tried them what you thought but I absolutely love them and think they're the quality is amazing for the price I would like put them against um, Konak quality. I've not had any issues. Um, I think except for like one image on one of the uh, the previous plate that I got, um, and I don't I can't remember if that was due to the stamping plate or the polish. But um, you can easily um, check out my previous one of the previous review videos. So let me know what you thought leave your comments below thanks for watching stay polished at all times hopefully this was helpful if you have any other suggestions or if there are any particular images you want me to do a nail look with please just leave that down below stay polished at all times and have a fabulous day bye